Have you ever found yourself captivated by the dusty allure of the Wild West? Perhaps it was during your initial encounter with the 1957 classic, Gunfight at the OK Corral. The film, directed by John Sturges, immerses audiences in the legendary showdown between Wyatt Earp and the Clanton Gang, unfolding against the iconic backdrop of Tombstone, Arizona. As the camera unfolds the tale, one can't help but wonder, when was the first time you witnessed this cinematic clash of lawmen and outlaws? And is there a particular scene etched in your memory, a moment that resonates with you to this day? Before we delve into the heart of this Western masterpiece, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience linked to gunfight at the OK Corral. Your stories and reflections are welcomed in the comments below. Now, let's saddle up and ride into the fascinating realm of random facts about the show. Did you know that Burt Lancaster and Kirk Douglas, portraying Wyatt Earp and Doc Holliday, forged a legendary on-screen partnership that extended beyond the OK Corral? Their chemistry, palpable throughout the film, became a defining element of its success. As we uncover more about this cinematic gem, we invite you to share your own anecdotes, memories, and insights related to Gunfight at the OK Corral. Your unique perspective adds depth to the rich tapestry of cinematic history. So, when did you first step into the dusty streets of Tombstone with this classic? Is there a cinematic moment that left an indelible mark on you? Your stories await below. And that's the roundup on Gunfight at the OK Corral, a cinematic journey through the Wild West that continues to resonate with audiences. Share your thoughts, and let's keep the conversation alive. Set in the late 19th century, the movie unfolds between 1879 and 1881, depicting a legendary chapter in American history. A notable aspect is Joe Van Fleet's insistence on using a real knife during a tense knife-throwing sequence. Van Fleet sought genuine shock and fear for an authentic on-screen portrayal. Worth mentioning is Burt Lancaster's departure from the traditional Wyatt Earp image by opting not to wear a mustache, distinguishing his portrayal from others, both fictional and real. These choices contribute to the film's unique character, offering a fresh perspective on the well-known events at the OK Corral. During the making of the film, tension brewed between Burt Lancaster and director John Sturges over details about Wyatt Earp's character. Lancaster's biography reveals heated on-set arguments as they navigated the portrayal. Interestingly, much of the movie was shot at the renowned Old Tucson facility, close to the real tombstone. However, the town street set, initially depicting Fort Griffin, Texas, surprisingly transformed into tombstone later on. Notably, Tombstone Street scenes were filmed in Southern California on the Paramount Studios' backlot, previously featured as Virginia City, Nevada, and Bonanza. Adding another layer to the film's behind-the-scenes dynamics, Joe Van Fleet, an actor's studio alum, faced challenges embodying her character as an abused woman. Seeking authenticity, she turned to Kirk Douglas, requesting a real hit to evoke the necessary emotions. Douglas obliged, contributing to the intense on-screen portrayal. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes provide a fascinating backdrop to the 1957 movie, offering a glimpse into the creative conflicts and unique choices that shaped its narrative. Such details bring nuance to the well-known events at the OK Corral, highlighting the dedication of the cast and crew to deliver an authentic and memorable cinematic experience. In this 1957 film, Gunfight at the OK Corral, notable details add depth to its narrative. John Ireland, who portrayed Johnny Ringo, had a prior connection to the OK Corral saga, having played Billy Clanton in My Darling Clementine. This link brings a subtle intertextuality to his role, adding an intriguing layer to the movie's portrayal of the iconic event. Additionally, DeForest Kelly, known for his role as Morgan Earp, had a unique involvement in three dramatizations of the gunfight at the OK Corral. Before this film, he played Ike Clanton in the gunfight at the OK Corral, and later took on the role of Dr. Leonard McCoy, echoing Tom McClory, Inspector of the Gun. Kelly's multiple perspectives on the OK Corral events contribute an interesting dimension to his contributions to the film. Furthermore, the shootout scenes were filmed in Old Tucson, a location used for the final shootout in another Western classic, Rio Bravo. This shared setting, along with the presence of actor Bing Russell, connects gunfight at the OK Corral to a broader cinematic landscape. 
These facts unveil the intricate ties and overlaps within the Western film genre, enriching the viewer's experience of gunfight at the OK. Corral with a backdrop of cinematic history. John Sturges, the director of this classic Western, had initially contemplated casting heavyweights Robert Mitchum and Richard Widmark for the pivotal role of Doc Holliday. However, the part eventually went to Kirk Douglas, who, in his 1988 autobiography The Ragman's Son, revealed a meticulous approach to portraying the consumptive gambler. Douglas planned the number and types of coughs for each scene, ensuring continuity during the film's editing. Interestingly, the film's influence extends beyond its genre. Gunfight at the OK, Corral played a role in inspiring Mel Brooks' comedy classic, Blazing Saddles. The whimsicality of the theme song's lyrics, passionately sung by Frankie Lane, caught Brooks' attention. In fact, Brooks specifically chose Lane for his film, recognizing the perfect blend of silliness and passion. These behind-the-scenes insights add intriguing layers to the 1957 movie, showcasing the careful considerations in casting and character portrayal. John Sturge's contemplation of different actors and Kirk Douglas' methodical approach to embodying Doc Holliday offer a glimpse into the meticulous craftsmanship that went into crafting this iconic western. Furthermore, the unexpected influence on a comedy classic like Blazing Saddles reveals the enduring impact of gunfight at the OK. Corral on Cinematic History Burt Lancaster's commitment to the 1957 film had an interesting condition agreed to take on the role if he could also star in The Rainmaker, another production by Halby Wallace. This collaboration marked the second of seven films featuring Lancaster and Kirk Douglas, contributing to their notable on-screen partnership. Notably, Bing Russell's son, Kurt Russell, later stepped into the role of Wyatt Earp in Tombstone, a film that revisits the events surrounding the gunfight at the OK Corral. This connection adds a layer of continuity to the cinematic exploration of this iconic moment in history. These behind-the-scenes dynamics, from Lancaster's condition for taking the role to the enduring partnership between Lancaster and Douglas, and the connection between Bing Russell and Kurt Russell, offer a glimpse into the intriguing web of collaborations and decisions that shaped the 1957 film. It's a testament to the interconnectedness of Hollywood and the lasting impact of the gunfight at the OK Corral narrative on subsequent cinematic endeavors. As the sun sets on the dusty landscapes of the Wild West, we bid farewell to the iconic tale that is etched in the tapestry of cinematic history. Gunfight at the OK Corral stands tall as a monument to courage, justice, and the untamed spirit of a bygone era. As you reflect on the cinematic masterpiece that unfolded in 1957, let the echoes of gunshots and the silhouette of heroes linger in your mind. This classic, with its sweeping panoramas and timeless narrative, beckons you to journey into the heart of the Old West, where the line between law and disorder blurred like the horizon at twilight. Did Wyatt Earp and Doc Holliday's camaraderie resonate with your own bonds? Did the moral dilemmas faced by the characters ignite introspection about your own choices? Share the moments that left an indelible mark on your soul. In the vast expanse of your memories, unearth the gems inspired by gunfight at the OK Corral. Whether it's the gripping gunplay, the camaraderie of kindred spirits, or the poignant dialogues that still echo in your thoughts, let your reflections flow. Engage with your fellow aficionados and kindred spirits, weaving a collective tapestry of appreciation for this cinematic gem. As the credits roll on the mental reel of your favorite scenes, we thank you for taking this journey through the sun-soaked streets of Tombstone. Your time and passion for the art of storytelling, etched in the annals of our shared appreciation, are the true treasures of this journey. Until we meet again in the saloons of memory, may your reflections be as enduring as the legends of the Old West.